massachusetts.biz, massdvds.co.uk, higher mathematics. Lesson 39, part 3. So let's put enlargement, three different things together. The linear, the area and the volume. These cones are similar. In other words, one's a perfect enlargement of the other one. The volume of A is 540 cubic centimetres. The volume of B is 2.5 cubic centimetres. The surface area of A is 172.8 square centimetres. Find the surface area of B. Square centimetres. So if we consider the enlargement between the volumes, five four zero divided by two point five, then the volume factor is two hundred and sixteen. This volume is two hundred and sixteen times that volume. Now the volume factor is the scale factor cubed, in other words, the linear scale factor. So the linear scale factor will be the cube root of 216, and a 6 times 6 times 6 is 216, that must be 6. But we're after the area factor. We want the connection between the surface area of this and the surface area of this. And the area factor is the linear scale factor squared, which is 36. So the surface area of this is 36 times the surface area of this. Or conversely, if I take this surface area of the larger cone, divided by 36, I will have the surface area of a smaller cone, as required. So here we go, 172.8 divided by 36. So that is the surface area of the smaller cone. Triangular prisms A and B are similar. The surface area of A is 4 square centimetres. So the total area of the five faces added together, or is it this five faces, is 4 square centimetres. The surface area of B is 100 square centimetres. So the area of the three rectangles and two triangles, five faces is that. The volume of B is 750, so the volume of this is 750 cubic centimetres. Find the volume of this. So let's look at the connection between the surface areas. That's the surface area of B, and that's the surface area of A. That's been multiplied by 25. So in other words, the area factor is 25. And the area factor is the scale factor, the linear scale factor squared. Therefore, the linear scale factor itself must be the square root of 25, which is 5. Now we're trying to find out the volume of this smaller one. So we need the volume factor, which is the scale factor cubed which is therefore 5 cubed. 5 times 5 times 5, 125. So the volume of that is 125 times more than the volume of that. Or conversely, if I take the volume of the big one and divide it by this volume factor, I'll have the volume of the small one as required. So here we go. 750 divided by 125 is 6. 6 cubic centimetres. Lesson 39, part 3.